Facebook, Instagram and WhatsApp all experiencing a major outage today, impacting users around the world. Now this comes after the Facebook whistleblower who ignited a firestorm after releasing internal documents from the company revealed her identity in a bombshell interview with 60 Minutes. In the interview, she accused the company of prioritizing profits over public good. Isabel Rosales is in Washington with the former employee's claims and the pushback from the social media giant. The Facebook whistleblower coming forward. There were conflicts of interest between what was good for the public and what was good for Facebook. And Facebook over and over again chose to optimize for its own interests. Former Facebook product manager Francis Haugen leaked tens of thousands of pages of internal research and documents. She claims they show the social media giant knows the platform is used to spread hate, violence and misinformation and has tried to hide it. The version of Facebook that exists today is tearing our societies apart. Haugen points the finger at the company's algorithm. Facebook has realized that if they change the algorithm to be safer, people will spend less time on the site, they'll click on less ads, they'll make less money. After Facebook dissolved her department's civic integrity and turned off misinformation prevention tools post-election, she says she had enough. They basically said, oh good, we, we made it through the election, there wasn't riots, we can get rid of civic integrity now. Fast forward a couple of months, we got the insurrection. Facebook is aggressively pushing back. I think if the assertion is that January the 6th can be explained because of social media, I just think that's ludicrous. Denying many of Haugen's claims in a statement, saying in part, we continue to make significant improvements to tackle the spread of misinformation and harmful content. To suggest we encourage bad content and do nothing is just not true. In Washington, Isabel Rosales.